Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube video. I uh, just thought I would show you a project that I've been working on recently. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, I've got a picture of the finished product, which is uh, the Nun from The Conjuring 2, or Valak. Uh, and yeah, a painting that I had done, and obviously uh, put the hands there just to make it look like the scene from the movie. Um, obviously just starting off showing the finished product obviously you guys want to are here to see that so uh, if that's what you came here for there you go I've got some more video of the finished product including some close-ups at the end if you wanted to see that but um, before we get there I just thought I'd give a bit of a recap on the process uh, just for my own sake I don't really care if you like it or not I'm just putting it here uh, I'm by no means an artist but you know I, I thought the end product looks pretty good so um, we'll just jump in obviously starting off I just I actually had a, a picture or a painting that I'd done of the nun last year, um, which was like the first painting I'd ever done, and I was pretty happy with it at that time. And I realized I had a spare set of mannequin hands, you know, as you do lying around. Um, and so I originally just wanted to paint up some hands to hold that painting, but I ended up uh, redoing the painting. Uh, and you'll see both versions later. Um, so as you can see here, just getting the materials set out. Um, obviously didn't end up using a whole lot of those um, so yeah to paint the hands obviously to make them look a little bit more demony um, first layer going on that looks horrible uh, I had them more pink originally but ended up dulling it back quite a bit thankfully trying to add a little bit more weathering on and again uh, ended up putting this really nice white colour um, on the kind of the, for the skin tone, really bringing forth kind of a frostbited look. Um, and as you can see here, I've been doing some just washes with some um, some water that had some brown and umbers and um, black paint in it, and just going over it gradually, and it's really built up quite nicely. And that's what you can see dripping there. Um, unfortunately, the, the hands ended up getting cut off, so you missed a lot of the detail t on the wrist, but um, that is what it is. Um, that obviously had to seal it, so I just used like a satin um, clear coat, but I ended up just absolutely caking it on, so it had this really nice sheen, which kind of dulled down. So these, this is what they ended up looking like in the end. I'll just whip through a few pictures. I was really happy with them. I had some cuts along here and I tried to add in some kind of surface details. Um, I had some like miniature like sand stuff which I added in between the fingers just to give it a bit of, bit of texture. Um, but yeah, I think they turned out pretty well. I ended up putting like 20 layers of paint on until I got to a point where I was kind of happy with it. Um, and here's a quick little video. You can see just, you can kind of see, they just, yeah, look really frostbitten, which was kind of the effect that I wanted to go for. Anyway, so it was time to do the painting. I ended up starting this at about 1.30 in the morning and then finishing at about 4.30. So it took me about three hours to paint this, which again, I'm, I'm no artist. So um, these pens were fantastic. These, um, I can't even remember the name of the place that does them, but um, a lot of this is just from Officeworks here in Australia. Um, a few different paints here. Uh, canvas, I believe it was an 18 by 14 inch canvas, um, which was yeah, ended up being a really good size. So I just started off by penciling in the rough design which that's about as much detail as I went into before I started painting. As you can see here, just putting through some initial blacks just to see how it looks. Um, I wasn't really happy with the blending kind of on the chest at first, but once it kind of all gets framed in, it, it kind of comes together a bit better. So I was happy with that. Putting in some more details on the face. Um, obviously with the nun being predominantly white worked out well so I just used the negative space and didn't really paint a whole lot of the face like where it's white um, I probably could have added more more detail but again I I know my abilities and that's not it so I just uh, made it work and worked it uh, to my advantage 
um, put some eyes in, which I ended up redoing. I'm still not really happy with how the eyes came out in the end, but um, yeah, putting the black in. So I put the background in, which has some kind of flecks of brown, which is similar to how the painting in the movie has. You can't really see it in this picture, but you'll see it in a second. Um, I ended up doing a lot more detail on the, well, a lot more detail on the cross. I ended up putting some more highlighting in because you can't really see it. Um, an interesting thing in all the all the, the Valak paintings, the crosses are right, right, the right way up, which I find a bit interesting. Um, obviously being a demon, so I ended up just putting it upside down in this painting just for fun. But yeah, so this was the finished painting, so it ended up turning out quite good. Some pictures of it in the dark. Uh, yeah, the structure on the face I was very happy with. So you can see here I've got the browns going through, kind of streaking up. It really gives some good separation between the, I can't remember what the nun's robes are called, the actual name. But you can see the detail on the cross there as well. Um, okay, so yeah, so this is basically once I'd put the whole thing together, I just mounted it with hot glue um, and needed, to, so it's set out from the wall a little bit, which you'll see. So you can see here it's, you know, got two or three inches from the wall, um, but it really serves a purpose. I think it looks fantastic. And I think I've got some video here. Hopefully there's not too much noise. So here's me just sitting in our movie room and that's basically the view that you get of it, which is pretty cool. The room's about four metres by four metres, so yeah, it ended up working really well. I think it looks great. The silhouette really sells really well, so yeah, overall I'm, I'm very happy with it. Don't know what this video is. Okay, this is, I think this is in the dark with just a flash on. Very cool, you can see there, you can see kind of how I've mounted on there. Really bodgily done, but hey, it does the job. I think I do show the old painting as well. So this is when the room's blacked out just with a, a light. Looks fantastic, I think anyway. Considering I, 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 yeah, I can't paint anything more detailed than this, that's for sure. And considering the time, I mean, I spent a long time on the hands just trying to get them how I wanted, but the painting itself was pretty quick, which was good. Admittedly, it's the second time I'm painting the character as well, so. See if it can focus. Oh. Opening a door, creepy. Can't see anything, great. Very cool, okay, let's skip a bit of this. This is a bit crap. Yeah, we've seen this view. Let's see the old painting. Oh yeah, so that's my old painting. Oh, hang on, I'll start the video again. So the old painting was, was it was good for the time, as you can see there, I did that in April last year. Um, obviously this is more the lights on version, whereas the one I've redone it as, uh, redone it as the lights out version, which is a bit more demon like, this is a bit more plain. This, I was really happy with this at the time and I still kind of am. Um, but in comparison, I just think the other one's more, this, the new one's more scary. So that's the one that gets sent to Sent to place. So yeah, I did this obviously, painted this on the 12th of February this year. Upside down cross, lovely. Yeah, I wasn't really happy with how I blended the chest and kind of the neck area, but eh, it does the job. I'm still convinced one of the eyes looks a bit crooked, but I think it's just where I put the highlights. 
So I'm trying to give you a bit more details on the hands, which hopefully you can see. Yes, so you can see there's got cuts all over it. Um, apologies, my video just cut off then. Uh, we'll recommence where we were. Um, so just showing you the details in the hands. I'll just pause here. So, so what I'd done was I put like a tiny bit of hot glue in. Like I said, I have like kind of this fake soil for miniatures that I got for another project and I just put it over the fingernails just to kind of make it a bit gritty and you can really see that that um, that wash in there and it's left kind of spots in there it's not as noticeable like this is with the flash on so it's not as noticeable in person um, like all these fine spots and everything so and you can see here where I've put stuff in between I don't know it looks really cool um, it might not look good in this but I mean you've seen the pictures and it, it sells really well I think but I think that even the positioning of the hands I got quite lucky with the mannequin hands I just had spare um, they ended up being perfect for this um, being slightly different hand positions um, so that it looks like someone's actually gripping it gripping the painting from behind it worked really well yeah so I think the eyes look a bit crooked just from the white highlight I put on that right this eye here but anyway I'm giving you a spin around of the room interesting point that's the uh, screen used armor from Rampage with I can't remember his name anyway my dad's a, a big fan of of um, those films and so I bought him that um, suit of armor when it came up for sale um, so screen used um, they had a couple for the movie but um, this one's particularly from the first and second which was which is pretty cool um, the guns are just gel blasters obviously here in Australia that's about as good as you can get which they they do the job and a few bits and pieces so yeah just thought that would be interesting to show you guys um, yeah it was it was a fun fun build over you know a, a week or two weeks putting it together um, and I'm glad I could I took pictures along the way so that I could kind of document it and make this video for you guys so have fun. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys.